Well, you may remember this. Uh, there was a huge traffic jam in Virginia, right? Was it about a week, week and a half ago because of the snow? People were stranded in their cars for the entire day, sometimes uh, a little bit longer than that, longer than 24 hours. And in the wake of that, um, I got a lot of questions uh, in person via Facebook and uh, other social media platforms of, since you're an EV person now, what would happen in that scenario where you were stuck for a while with an electric vehicle. How long could it run the heat? Well, let's back up and we're gonna start first with how long a gas car can idle and run the heat. So it has to do with the engine displacement size. So the number of liters, you, you'll hear, you know, three and a half liter, three liter, two liter engine. The formula to figure out how much gas it will take idling to run the heat, it's the engine displacement times 0.6. You take that number, and then you get the gas tank size converted over to liters, which you can do on Google if you want to, and then divide it and you get the number of hours you could idle if you had a full tank. So in my example, I'm using 50 liters, which is about your average gas tank size. Two liter engine is relatively standard as well, uh, times 0.6 and you get 42 hours of idling at full. By the way, those of you at home who are saying, well, I have a really big gas tank, typically, those correspond with bigger engines as well. So I did the F-150, for example. It's a 3.3 liter engine. It has 26 gallons, and I came up with 48 hours. So it's similar, 40 to 48 hours. Okay, so let's go to an electric vehicle, which of course has a different formula. And this one's actually a little bit easier. So when you're heating, and that includes a morning like this morning, I was checking my EV to see how much it was drawing to heat. Initially, it will draw three or four kilowatt hours instantly, and then to maintain it, it'll be around one kilowatt hour to keep the temperature of the cabin inside about 65 uh, degrees. So what you need to know is the size of your battery. My EV, which is pictured there, and man, it does not have a good side profile, is good for 64 hours from a full spot. So if it was fully charged, it could run the heat for 64 hours. Tesla batteries are a little bit bigger, 82 to 100 kilowatt hours, which means in theory they could make it 80 to 100 hours. So uh, long story short here, ladies, if you're fully charged, same as if you show up with a full tank of gas, um, most EVs could actually last longer heating the cabin than a gas car. So um, that is not a concern. Obviously these things don't happen that much and they really don't happen in Maine as well. So uh, it's actually more pertinent, I think, around here for people who maybe want to be slightly off the grid and think mm -hmm. about using that to, to heat. Um, so really yeah. quickly, Keith, I, one of the concerns too was, you know, so let's say both cars die mm -hmm. out there. Is it easier to bring a gas tank and fill up versus what do you do yep. with an electric car? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, and I don't know what happened in Virginia. When this happened in Atlanta with a big snow jam, they, they towed those cars anyways because mm -hmm. uh, they were in the road. So I, d I don't remember and I don't think it's common for them to bring a gas tank route and fill cars up. But you're right, like in its current situation, if, you're, if your EV goes to zero, you've, you've got to tow it. Um, but that is pretty much what they do in these traffic jams anyways right. because it's just too time intensive to have everybody plug into the little, right. you know. Um, so the number one, hopefully you don't end up in that situation. But if you do, you'll, you'll make it. But don't play video games on the screen <laughs> in your Tesla because that'll drain it faster. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Thanks, Keith. We'll be right back.